we present the first method for tracking and reconstructing the 3D pose and geometry of two interacting hands from monocular RGB videos in real time. Our method obtains global 3D estimates and works well in challenging scenarios where one hand is heavily occluded by the other one. Given a monocular RGB image as input, we aim to reconstruct 3D pose and shape of two interacting hands. Our method relies on two main components to handle the ambiguities and challenges that are inherent to RGB data. First, we use the parametric 3D hand model MANO to estimate pose and shape in a generative two-hand tracking framework. Second, we train neural networks to extract additional information from the input image based on machine learning techniques. For our network architecture, we first predict per pixel classification for left and right hand. This segmentation mask is used together with the RGB input image to further regress the following outputs. A dense matching image that establishes correspondences to the parametric hand model, independent of appearance and lighting variation, intra-hand relative depth and inter-hand distances to address the inherent depth and scale ambiguities in monocular RGB data by learning a strong prior from training data. Sparse and robust 2D keypoint locations to further improve pose accuracy. The request scene information is fed into the tracking system and is key to obtain accurate results for tracking two strongly interacting hands in 3D from monocular RGB video. We train our neural network based on a mix of real and synthetic data. For the real data, we obtain annotations based on paired RGBD data and a depth-based two-hand tracking method. We note that errors in the depth-based tracker would lead to noise in these annotations. Hence, we complement it with synthetic data that models physically correct hand interactions with diverse shapes and appearances. To evaluate our approach, we created the new benchmark dataset RGB2 hands that exhibit significantly stronger hand interactions compared to previous benchmarks. We annotate 14 joints per hand on a subset of the images in the sequences. We perform an ablation study to validate different design choices for a method. Without the silhouette term, poses with self-occlusion are not properly reconstructed and exhibit limited articulation as the pose does not need to explain hand boundaries. The 2D keypoint terms additionally encourage correct articulation when it is ambiguous whether the silhouette is a hand boundary or an occlusion boundary. Without the intra-hand relative depth term, it is harder to distinguish between bending the hand forward and backward. Without the inter-hand distance term, the order of the hands along the camera viewing direction is estimated incorrectly. We emphasize again that obtaining a correct relative positioning of the two hands is crucial for accurately reconstructing two-hand interactions. We compare our approach to the crop-based RGB-only methods OpenPose and a method by Buchheimer et al. Note that for compatibility to the 2D OpenPose predictions, we only show skeletons for all methods. In the case of strongly overlapping hands, our method significantly outperforms the other two methods, as ours is able to predict more accurate and plausible hand poses while at the same time being much faster. Methods that reconstruct the entire human body, such as Simplify X, implicitly rely on the body pose to detect the hand and to regularize the hand orientation. As such, our method is more stable when the body is not fully visible. Simplify X also does not explicitly address overlapping hands and thus fails even when the hand detection and orientations are correct. Due to the inherent ambiguities of monocular RGB data, our method may still fail in some cases. Ambiguities in depth, in combination with coarse collision proxies, could result in some interpenetration during interactions. Here we show more results. Here we show the various predictions of our neural network. Dense matching, segmentation, intra-hand relative depth, inter-hand distance, and 2D key points. Here we visualize the dense matching map that establishes correspondences between 3D hand model vertices and pixels in the input image. 
Our method works for various subjects with different hand shapes and appearances. Our approach is able to reconstruct two hand gestures that could be used to control VR or AR applications or smart devices like watches. Our method can track both hands interacting with objects in a complex manner. These recorded interactions can then be used in a VR environment to teach users how to perform the same tasks. This could for example be useful for the training of complex surgery. Thank you for watching.